It seems every year parents are being asked to buy more and more supplies for their kids' schools. But after a request to provide copy paper to copy books, one Maple Ridge mom has decided she, that enough is enough. She is refusing to pay, and as Shannon Patterson reports, she believes the law is on her side. Dry erase markers, Kleenex, photocopy paper. That request to supply photocopy paper for her kid's classroom has this Maple Ridge mom fuming. Uh, I, I do believe that these copy papers go to copying textbooks for the children because they don't have textbooks. Heather Anderson is refusing to buy it. It's crazy that we're expected to pay for office supplies. I think a lot of parents in BC would say it's getting out of hand. The NDP's education critic says cash-strapped school boards have to pass along these costs. They've had so many uh, cost pressures downloaded onto them and this is now at the breaking point so they're turning to parents. It's the only way they can go. But is it legal? A 2006 Supreme Court ruling states public school parents don't have to provide classroom supplies or pay fees for programs. It's in the school act that we do not pay for these things. They are supposed to be supplied. In a statement, the education ministry says school supplies for a student's personal use are not included within the definition of educational resource materials. And supply lists are created by individual school districts. If any parent has a concern about providing something, they can choose not to, and we're going to make sure that the child has what they need in order to complete their learning. This is 187 pages of a French textbook that the parents had to pay $15 for. Anderson says since textbooks are supposed to be supplied, copied versions should also be free, and so should the paper. Shannon Patterson, CTV News, Vancouver.